This video comes from Obsessible.com. Hey everybody, so this is CK Sample with Obsessible.com. Uh, I just got a MacBook Air. I uh, did not... My wife had hidden the video camera, so it took me a while to find that. So I didn't get to videotape the original unboxing. But I wanted to uh, show you guys the device booting up and some other things like that. So I'm going to make this little video. I included in the case, um, which you'll see in more detail in the uh, camera, that the case is pretty slim. Look at this. They're right about the, the um, size of it having gone down dramatically from previous models. Uh, inside the case, you have this little thing right here that holds uh, this little uh, shimmy cloth and this everything Mac booklet and this everything else booklet with your CDs and stuff inside. Uh, extension cable for the power. Regular power brick. It doesn't look changed at all from uh, previous models. And, of course, be very slim and covered with plastic so you don't get fingerprints all over it right after you open it. MacBook. This thing is really nice. Uh, right here you'll notice there's the warning, please do not, please read software license agreement, blah blah blah. I'm going to unwrap this in a second. But Hi, this is CK Sample with Obsessible.com. I just want to show you guys the new MacBook that was delivered to my house. Now, first thing I want to show you is how incredibly light and thin it is, and the best way to show you that, I think, is to pull out my wife's uh, older MacBook, the one that now sells for $99, $999, and it's kind of a beast compared to this. Look how much thicker it's like about, the new MacBook is about three-fourths the size, I'd say, in thickness. Heft, it's definitely lighter. This one feels like it's pulling my wrist down. This one, light as a feather. Um, very nice, very nice, very nice. So anyway, old MacBook, new MacBook. There's the comparison. Uh, I think the extra couple of hundred is worth it for this metal case and the better form factor. So this feels really sturdy, by the way. Whoop, I just made it pop a little bit. So I didn't break it. Anyway, um... <laughs> my first time opening it. Ooh, okay. There's the uh, little thing to cover the keypad. Oh, look how shiny it is. So anyway, there's me, um, and that's really how reflective it is. That's scary. There it goes. So the first time was fake. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Hmm. It's a lot of Mississippis, but it is the first uh, past 20 Mississippis already in counting. I know it's really scientific. I'm originally from Mississippi. All right, so regular uh, Mac startup screen. Use English, please. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's no button. The whole thing is a button. That's creepy. It feels nice, the trackpad. Like, it doesn't... I was worried when I heard it was glass that it would be... Super slick and weird. Ooh, startup video. Notice how much reflection is still going on there. already like dust on the screen. Fortunately they did uh, provide a cloth which I just moved to where they provided this little shimmy cloth so you can go and dust things off the extremely shiny screen. Continue. 
Yeah, this feels just like a regular mouse button. Like you don't notice it when you're just going like this, but when you click, it clicks. Close up picture of me looks great. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> All right, let's go. So that took forever and none of you want to watch that, so I'll cut all that out. Here it is, fully booted. Very nice. I gotta say, it feels nice, it's light.